only three quarterbacks have won two NFL MVPs, two Super Bowl MVPs in NFL history. That's Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady, and Joe Montana. Pretty good company to be in. RC, is Mahomes a top three quarterback yep. all time? You got to finish it. Yes. All yes. time? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know what? I was the guy Friday that was like, I don't want to have this conversation before the game, but I never said I didn't want to have it after the game. <laughs> when you think about when you think about Patrick, if he Mahomes, walked away right now. Oh, first off, he walks away right now. He's a first ballot Hall of Famer, Send and he's he third on the Send list. Okay. Because you have to think about this. He has as many Super Bowls as Peyton Manning, yes. right, who is somebody we consider to be one Facts. of the greatest of all time. He has exactly. more than Drew Brees, more than Aaron Rodgers. So we can't even really talk about the championships. But it's when you cut the film on, right? There is no draft in the world that when you just cut the film on and you don't give statistics, you don't give stories, you don't talk about MVPs, you're not talking about Super Bowl wins, and you said, when you watch Tom Brady play, would you pick him over Patrick Mahomes? No. When you watch Joe Montana play, would you pick him over Patrick Mahomes? No. So now with... I don't know. I might be coming back at you, RC, a little no. bit. No. Joe bit. Montana was amazing. And a great athlete. Right? Great athlete. Yeah. Totally great. All of those things. But when we watch Patrick Mahomes do things we've never Bless seen you. people do, now you have to move over to this. Is he winning? Is that individual play leading his team to success? And the proof is in the pudding. Five straight AFC championships, two, MV two Super Bowl MVPs, two Super Bowl championships, and was the best player in the one they lost. They just ain't yeah. have nobody. Yeah. That dude, man, he's a top three quarterback for me all time. Well, the, the, I'm not going to argue against Patrick Mahomes, and, and RC makes a stellar case for Patrick mm -hmm. Mahomes. The, has Patrick Mahomes done anything that Joe Montana didn't do? And the answer is no. No. He hadn't. So we're going to get there, by the way. I, like, I'm fully, I'm, I loved what you said the other day before the game. And I sort of still feel like that we got time. Yeah. We don't have to rush into it. Patrick Mahomes, apparently, if he has health, he's going to be there. I just think Montana gets overlooked for some of the, the, the modern passing game with Bill Walsh. That's true. They invented it. And so they're building on what Walsh and Montana and yeah. Jerry Rice and all the, that, that incredible yeah. cadre of players did. Yeah. So I'm not going to argue against Mahomes. I believe everything R.C. said. I believe in it. I, I, but I, and another guy who, who doesn't get mentioned because his team was so bad, and that's, that's John Elway, the first three teams. Yeah. Yeah. John, Elway. John Elway went yeah. five times. Yeah. Two of those. Tell me, the, tell me the Hall of Fame offensive player John Elway played with. And the answer would be none. Now, he got, he got T.D. Shannon, late yeah, in the career yeah. for the second. That's when he was. Shannon, 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 Shannon late. He got those two guys late. Yeah. He didn't have those guys early. He went to the Super Bowl by himself essentially three times. But, 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 Patrick Mahomes is going to ascend. I may not really be have him? crowning so him today. Where do you have today. him right now, Michael? Fourth or fifth. No okay. lower, no yeah. lower. But that's still but great. Yes. Oh, season. no question. So it is. It is. I will say this to you. I have him no lower than three. For all the things that RC artic articulated, I don't need to regurgitate that. It speaks for itself. The first five years as a starter. You yeah. say six years. No. <laughs> yeah. He started for five years. Right. Yeah, and in the right, five Stephen years, and in the right. five years that he's played, yeah. he's you're never right. been out of the conference game. championship game. Yeah. Crazy. Ever. Yeah. And he went yeah. to Super Bowl three times, won two I'm titles. Stop calling it the blah, first blah, blah. six seasons. Here's, here's, here's the thing that I, I, I would say when we say I, I won't eclipse him over Montana for this one reason. And it's the same thing, it's the same reason I refuse to give LeBron the nod over MJ. Okay. We have to pay attention to the times that you were playing in yes. and the adverse circumstances that you were experiencing because of the way the game was called okay. at that particular moment in time. I've heard Ray Lewis literally ignite a cadre of defensive players throughout the universe because it's such a crime in his mind how you can't play defense the way defense is supposed to be played in the NFL. Right. The ticky-tack rules, you breathe on a quarterback, all of a sudden, this, you know, you can, you can get thrown out of a game, et cetera, et cetera. You got all of this stuff going on. That's the era we're living in. That is not the era Joe Montana played in. Mm. It was far more physical, far more volatile. Yeah. And as defensive players, you were allowed to get away with far more. And despite that, Joe Montana did what he did. Yeah. 
And so when you look at it from that perspective, yes, we could have a different conversation once Patrick Mahomes gets to four Super Bowls, which I think he will. He, he, but, what he, can't well be, but, 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 but what can't be ignored is the times yeah. that we're living in, mm -hmm. how football is called today. Well, Ryan and Dan both, they caught the end of it. They're part of the bridge yes. from the football that we're talking about yeah. where Dan could get hit with a forearm in the head and no flag was coming. Right. Yeah. From RC. Right. And... Yeah, <laughs> they, these guys. I, I don't mean to make y'all sound right. old because I'm a lot older, right. but you were. You were in that I bridge. Watched mm -hmm. You watched it. To what Stephen A's talking about? Look, I sat there. I stood on the sideline at the end of games and watched Joe Montana. Remember Joe Montana's career? That that back end was was lessened by the the shots that he mm -hmm. took. We talked about Richard Dent earlier. Yes. From players like that, and he yeah. still won four and didn't lose any. Mm -hmm. yes. It could have had more. Yeah. And it goes to Kansas City. And gets to a championship well. yeah. game. No, it's a great point. Yeah. Dan, where are you on this? I mean, you guys know I, I have him at second all time. And I was saying this this morning with RC. I really think, like, we have to sit in the greatness of Patrick Mahomes and just appreciate it. I really do. Like, as both a player and a person off the field. I mean, the NFL is so fortunate to have him as the face of their league. He's, a, he's got every reason to be conceited, egotistical, like he's a tremendous human being and equally as good of a player. But I think we need to point out exactly what he's accomplished. Okay, so in his first six seasons, because we've talked a little bit about this, but everything. So the guy's gone to five straight Pro Bowls. He's won five straight division titles. He's got five straight 12 or more win seasons. He's gone to five straight conference championship games. He's got two Super Bowl championships, two MVPs, and two Super Bowl MVPs. That's the greatest start to a career ever. I would imagine Brady and a great majority of his Super Bowls had better teams. Patrick, you can make the case, hasn't had the better team in all three of the Super Bowl appearances, and he's won two of them. That's different than so many quarterbacks that have won those championships. I just want to pause on that. Do you agree with that when he's talking about the better teams when we look at Tom Brady well, and – well, um, I think I think Tom, when you go early on in his career, had the better teams around yeah. him. And then Tom's made his team. Tom made his teams better later on in his career. But when you think of Patrick Mahomes in the three, I do agree with Dan. I picked Philadelphia because I thought Philly had the better roster. Same. Yeah. And then right. obviously playing Tampa, same it was here. the same way. Mm -hmm. Same here. Cosign. Well, that's, I mean, that's what says it all. I mean, when you – Patrick Mahomes beat a better team. And he yeah. made them look inferior in the second half. Yeah. Same thing with Steph Curry. And we, and we know Stephen that's a. not the case, but that's how they looked. See, here's a crazy stat for you. So QBR, the perfect QBR is 100. That's the, you can't mm -hmm. get higher than that. In the second half, Patrick Mahomes on one leg had a 99.4 QBR. Yeah. Wow. Well, yesterday, speaking of one leg, 14, Dan, 13 to 14 that's worth TDs, revisiting. Right? The fact that we saw Mahomes in that pain – and you didn't know what was going to yeah. happen in the moment on the sideline. I'm, I'm interested to hear him today, perhaps in a secondary situation. Well, I think he Paul Pierce this. Oh, I feel don't, right. don't, don't, don't you, you put that out there, Ricky Bobby. I don't you put that out there, Ricky Bobby. He didn't have a wheelchair. He didn't have a wheelchair. The way I just got to say one thing, though. Did you feel like it really? he really amped it up when they were kind of losing? I don't, I don't know if it was because they were losing, but he definitely he played into it really <laughs> well. Okay. He, knew he, did it, he did it pick out to pull out the wheelchair, though. <laughs> yeah, okay. didn't do that. But in, in that moment, when he goes to the bench and throws in that, okay, so I bought it, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm in the academy. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm yeah, buying yeah, it. Yeah. And I'm thinking, wow, <laughs> the, it, to deliver this performance on that one leg, Hobble. Dan, I, I yeah. thought that was a point absolutely worth underscoring. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. you know it, it would be it, one thing. It would be one thing, guys, if the Eagles came out there looking like deers in headlights. But they big. didn't. They came out balling. Yeah, you know? and we right? need to get and, into and they that. They were yeah. up ten at the half. Well, Stephen, why couldn't they them. figure I'm out some? I'm just they saying, saying, he their coaching staff yeah. had to figure out a way to pressure Mahomes. Yeah. There's one all thing right. you've got to do. They spoke to this all week. Yes, and they couldn't get that done. Both guys played well last night. Who was more impressive to you? Molly, this is hair splitting. So I'm just looking at the stats. If, mm -hmm. if I'm, I'm, I'm going to glean anything, it's yeah. going to make me lean one way or another. Man, J Jalen Hurts, early in that game, I was worried about him running as much as he mm -hmm. did. Wondering, run, wondering, Ryan, whether or not those calls were things that he checked into, some mm -hmm. of those runs early. And I'm thinking, yeah. is he going to have enough energy mm -hmm. and be healthy enough to finish this game because they're going to need him to make those plays late? And he made them late, too. 
I, this sounds crazy because the MVP is a legit MVP. All right? Yep. I mean, he's the MVP. There's no arguing against it. Yet, man, Jalen Hurts played even if not a little bit better. His team needed him to. Nothing that the Eagles didn't accomplish had to do with Jalen Hurts. Yes. Had everything and only to do with their defense being unable to pressure the MVP. Yeah. Jalen Hurts clearly, as far as I'm concerned, he he had a better game. He was he was absolutely sensational. I was really really proud of him. Felt very bad for him because the ball just slipped out of his hand. Now of course yeah, we can't it ignore it the did. fact That's true. we can't ignore the fact that that gave Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs seven points and mm -hmm. they won by three. We yeah. just can't ignore that, or even though it was early in the game. Right. The fact of the matter is that that's what happened. Uh, but that is literally the only thing that he did wrong. I'm watching this brother throw the football. I mean, he threw some dimes, man. He threw mm -hmm. the touchdown to A.J. Brown. He threw uh, the passes you know, to Goddard. The, 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 the passes to Goddard. How <laughs> yeah. about the pass down the right sideline to Devontae Smith as well? I mean, this brother, Jalen Hurts, showed up big time and was running the football yeah. effectively as well. So we got to give all love and respect and credit to him in that regard. And this is the best thing. This is just a flat-out truth. The Philadelphia Eagles defense lost this game. Yes. yes. The Philadelphia Eagles defense, well, when they're going back to Philadelphia and that town is talking mm -hmm. about the Eagles and why they didn't get done, I don't blame anybody on the offensive side of the ball. I thought Jalen Hurts, for the most part, was protected. I yep. thought A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith and Goddard showed up. Um, they didn't run the ball that effectively, but they didn't have to. You had Jalen Hurts running the football, exactly. okay? So we get that. They lost this game. Even with the fumble, they lost this game because they couldn't get to Patrick Mahomes, because they were playing man when they should have been playing zone, because Andy Reid, the man who fired Nick Sirianni, all right, he outcoached him. Yeah. He outcoached him. And that's what it comes down to, period. You know, we did our best to focus on the fact that this is the first time we saw two African-American quarterbacks start in the Super Bowl. Yes. I think the thing that we missed in pointing that out time after time was this is also the MVP and the runner-up runner -up. Yeah. to the MVP. Yeah. And yeah. that was something that we didn't shine enough light on because that tells you the way that Jalen Hurts has played throughout the season. We focus more on the shoulder injury, what he's been since returning. And what Jalen Hurts showed us last night is that not only has he ascended, not only has he worked to fix some of the accuracy issues he has, that it could show up on the big stage. A lot of times when people get on the big stage, you revert back to who everyone thought you were or who you were before you made the improvements. You know, it's like you guys seeing a dude who was a 60% free throw shooter, who's now a 75% free throw shooter, but you put him on the line at the end of the game with two, with two seconds left. Then he reverts back to bad form. Now he can't hit the broad side of a born. And we usually see that when the pressure is on. This dude elevated his play. He's standing across from Patrick Mahomes, the best player in football, and he's actually outplaying him. You go down eight. This is the time that you could fold. This is the time where you're like, oh, we've seen this story before. Patrick Mahomes has four comebacks in playoffs when he's already down 10. I know what's about to happen. No, he goes and makes the play. Not only drives the team down the field with the big pass to Devontae, but you run the football in on the two-point conversion. There was nothing else this dude could have done. And I agree with you on the one thing. You can't make a mistake when you're playing Patrick. You're trying to switch the ball to the other hand. You fumble. You give the ball, the ball up. But you come back and you atone for that, Stephen A. Yeah. You up 10 he at halftime. Yeah. He did. He did. I, one of the other things, and, and, and listen, sometimes we refer in the past and, you know, there's levels. It's like, you know, if you did something in the past on a pro level, but if it happened in college or whatever, we may not bring it up. In this case, it's worthy of bringing this up. Jalen Hurts was benched in a national championship yes. game because he was god-awful. That ignited the career of Tua Tungvaloa. Mm -hmm. Yesterday was the biggest game Jalen Hurts had had in his career since that day. Yeah. Good because, point. I mean, you, you could talk Oklahoma. That's when they got to the college football playoffs, when he transferred to Oklahoma. Okay, no. The last time I saw Jalen Hurts in this situation was when he was playing for Alabama. And... He showed up last night and let you know that's a distant memory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He is not that same dude. Although it, it is a distant memory, but you know it's amazing to me. And I wonder what you think about this. It seems like the improvement came so quickly. You, you think yes. about improvement being yes. gradual. Yeah. Can I, can there's, I, didn't I, that multiple can I, can I interrupt you on that? Yes. Kurt Warner said it's like the biggest 180 he's ever seen by a yes. quarterback. 
He said it's the most impressive of any quarterback from last season to this yeah. season. It is. And so that, that is something that they have to feel good about. Look, all the cynicism of Stephen A's adopted hometown in Philly, yes. of all the cynicism, <laughs> they can't be that about this quarterback. No. Not him. Because if he's no. upright and healthy defense. and they, they continue to surround him. him. Yeah. Yeah. Dan, Dan said the same thing after – the Philadelphia Eagles beat the Giants the first time. He mm. said he'd never seen an improvement like this in a thrower in the history of football. Yep. Guys, the Philadelphia Eagles had 70 sacks this season. Four different dudes had 11 or mm -hmm. more sacks. Fletcher Cox had mm -hmm. seven. seven. No one touched Patrick Didn't Mahomes. Didn't touch him. And the Didn't. Chiefs, and you had our very own Sal Palantonio and others interviewing offensive linemen after the Super Bowl. Yeah, we had a chip on our show. Everybody talk about what they were going to do to us, what a mismatch yeah. this was. We were ready. We were ready. They weren't. Mm -hmm. That's what they said, and that's what they showed. Absolutely. And obviously Jalen Hurts showing us that he can throw the ball, but he did rush for the most by a quarterback in Super yeah. Bowl history, 70. Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.